for her to come up with such a blatant lie, a bold-faced lie, it's almost like the other one can't pee if the other one's not holding down the toilet seat. I feel like really disrespected. Well, I felt disrespected too. Keep it real, especially you, Evelyn. It's your boy Terry Love, we live, Malmosa BT, and I'm here with the one and only Royce Reed of Basketball Wise. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm good. You know, I'm a little nervous, Why? but it, I don't know, it's like I'm a big fan. I see you every Monday, you know what I'm saying? So it's just good to have you. So can you tell me what made you want to write a book? Um, basically when I was in college, I don't think I was really in the year until like a real culture had I was ready for like the education required, you know, going to class, studying and all that stuff. But as far as like, you know, the social thing, I've never been to a situation in real life because it just did not like me. You know, everything always seems to like me. And then um, as far as my relationship, I was in a lot of great So I had to go through that. I had to pretty much learn everything, you know, because I was really adequately prepared. So based off of what I went through and some friends of mine went through, I felt like it was a need for a book to be out there that told the truth. I was blunt and that just put everything out on the table. Do you think basketball wise works more of a positive or more of a negative? It's a bittersweet relationship I have with the show. Um, for me, I am definitely okay with the way that I'm portrayed because I think for myself. I don't let all the material stuff get to me. I've never been a material person. Um, as far as being a part of the show, I think the show has kind of a negative stigma at times. So to be, you know, kind of pushed into that image, it kind of sucks. But um, I think I bring a different light to the show. I think I bring a different like, positive or positivity to it. Um, you no know, realness. Sammy's my girl. I love her to death. Um, but neither one of us are really into all the books and the glamour, even though we have it. We tend to think um, family and other things are more important. That's cool. Oh. I say balance. Yeah. I heard you was in a play called uh, Cheetahs yeah. by Dennis Reed. Can you tell me how that came about? Um, he actually reached out to my publicist um, months ago, and like I said, he's going to no relation. Um, he actually had no idea that I had a theater degree, so he was originally just wanted me to do like a one-liner, and then he come, um, you know, had me audition, and he was like, wow, I have a degree in this, so he gave me the star and you know, um, everything went very well, and I was on one tour with it, and hopefully, you know, hopefully it works for me, and some other things Oh, so you are an actress, a dancer, now you are an author, is there anything worth me thinking? Um, I don't put myself in a bubble, so whatever I really want to do, I'm going to do it. So, I'm that person who's like, if I'm talking about it, I'm going to do it. That's what's up. So, when all this is over, all the reality shows, and all the cameras off, what do you three to see yourself in the next five years? Um, next five years, I definitely see myself on a different level. Um, movies, um, more stage plays, married, <laughs> more kids. Um, but, you know, just really watching my little one grow up and it's going to sound really cliche, but everything I do, I think about him and whether or not he's going to be proud of me. I never wanted to be that mom that just sat under my mind and you know, um, I just want him to be proud of me, so every step that I take is to better myself and to make sure that he's going to have a great future and really have parents that he can really look up to. So what do you tell a young girl? To want to be a professional dancer for a sports team, like how to stay humble and all that. Um, don't give up. A lot of people are going to tell you no, but I'm going to be blunt. Don't think that you can have like 50 tattoos or be 300 pounds, <laughs> or, you know, and like that you're going to make an NBA or an NFL dancer. It's not going to happen. Um, just be honest with yourself and know exactly what you have to strive for and what you have to train in, you know, these are, you're going up against girls who have been dancing for like 20 plus years. I've been dancing for um, 27 years, so 
when I made magic, when I made heat, it was something that I really, really, really pushed for. And I mean, you gotta grind it out, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna cry, you might break something, you know, you might tear something. But if it's really what you wanna do, don't let anybody tell you no. You ready to party tonight? Oh, I'm about to go in. It's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I can get dance with Maybe, possibly, probably. There y'all have it. If she's bored enough, she will give me a dance. No, so, it's not, we're not going to be bored. We're going in. It's, it's going to be a good time. You know, Louisiana boys can dance. Florida girls can dance. What's up? Hey, let's get it popping. If you didn't know Royce Reed, you know it now. TerryLoveTV.com. We're here. Let's go.